of all celebrity mothers, there's no one who deserves applause and admiration more than Octimum Nadia Suleiman. Nadia Suleiman became a household name after she gave birth to octuplets in 2009. While having eight babies at once is not easy at all, Nadia was already familiar with pregnancy and giving birth, as she had already six kids before. With her octuplets, she became a single mother of 14, which is pretty fascinating on its own given that most of us have a hard time handling just one child. Nadia and her husband, Marcos Gutierrez, had always wanted a large family. After countless trials with no pregnancy, the couple decided to get a physical checkup to solve the mystery and find out what was keeping them from conceiving. After they both had a series of tests performed, doctors found out that as opposed to the couple's initial assumption, it was actually Gutierrez who couldn't conceive. The heartbroken couple was confused at first as to what to do until Nadia got hit by inspiration. Nadia wanted to become a mom at all costs and she'd assumed that her husband did too. However, when she suggested that they try in vitro fertilization, if, he clearly showed her that he was against it as he didn't want his wife to conceive a child with another man's DNA. Nadia was faced with a tough decision. Even though she dearly loved her husband, she loved the thought of becoming a mother even more and she wasn't going to let anything get in the way of that dream. Nadia made the devastating decision of asking for divorce. Her husband was free to go and find his destiny with another woman while she was free to pursue the IVF treatments she needed to become a mother. IVF treatments don't have a 100% success rate. In order to increase her chances, Doctors told Nadia to have several fertilized eggs implanted at once to see if at least one would stick. In 2001, Nadia gave birth to her first child, a boy, and only a year later in 2002, she gave birth to another child, a girl this time. But that wasn't enough for her, she wanted a house full of children, and that's what she was going to get. She continued undergoing IVF treatments which led to three more pregnancies that included a set of fraternal twins. In the end, Nadia had a total of six children. Despite having six children, Nadia decided to give IVF one last try and like before, she was implanted with several fertilized eggs. This time, however, she learned that she was actually pregnant with eight babies. While this made her the happiest, her doctors didn't share the same joy as this was going to be a very risky pregnancy. Carrying eight embryos to term at once was risky both to the babies and to Nadia. Despite her risky pregnancy, Nadia managed to avoid any major health complications and delivered all eight babies healthy and well. Nadia had shocked doctors with her octuplets and they weren't the only ones. It was a matter of days before the media caught wind of her accomplishment and channels from everywhere started bombarding her with requests for interviews. Once she was discharged from the hospital, Nadia hired a PR team to share her story of how her surprisingly massive family came to be. However, when taxpayers heard of Suleiman and her 14 kids, they weren't as pleased with her big family as she was. Nadia's PR representative, Joan Killen, received emails claiming that the optimum should have her uterus ripped from her body along with other colorful hate messages. At first, neither Killen nor her team had any idea where the hate was coming from. Then it became clear that taxpayers weren't happy that the mom of 14 was receiving state disability benefits too. Eventually, Nadia grew sick and tired of everyone sending mean and hateful emails just because she wanted to be a mom. To end the hate cycle, she decided to make a few TV and magazine interviews to explain that she wasn't taking anyone's money and that she wasn't looking to become famous for having 14 kids. However, it was a matter of weeks only before the public's fears were justified when she found herself struggling financially and had to go on welfare. Nadia had over $1 million in debt in medical bills. As a result, she was left with no other choice but to file for bankruptcy. As if that wasn't enough, rumors started circulating about her being an abusive mother. Eventually, Child Protective Services got called in to inspect her home and her family, but they found nothing negative to report. What's more is her landlord evicting her because he didn't think she was a good person. And life still had a few tricks to play on her. 
Nadia's questionable financial activities landed her in court where she was fined and sentenced to two years probation, in addition to 200 hours of community service. Despite this, all the media attention had earned her the nickname Optimum, which she used to self-promote and earn some extra money to keep a roof over her kids' heads and put food on the table every night. When she stepped out of the blinding spotlight, Nadia was able to divide her time between being a full-time mom and a college student. It wasn't easy to work on her degree with 14 kids, but her determination was stronger than any other obstacle and she completed her degree. This allowed her to earn a part-time job working as a family therapist. Nadia is perfectly aware that her children are going to learn about some of the things she's had to do to make ends meet. She's not afraid to clear any doubts they might have about her struggles, as she is willing to be honest and completely open about her past. Even though the spotlight allowed her to make some extra cash, in 2013, Nadia left it for good. She later told People in 2016 that she felt that her eldest daughter, Amber, had started to emulate some of her less desirable attributes. Nadia has her own Instagram account where she posts regularly about her life and her 14 children's activities. She actually has over 197,000 followers and loves to share what her family is up to. In one of her posts, Suleiman shared one of her everyday struggles, dropping her kids off at school and picking them up. In spite of her money struggles, Nadia still managed to afford a three-bedroom townhouse in California. There's no room for slackers in their home, everyone has to collaborate, be it taking turns taking out the trash or washing the dishes or doing the laundry. Nadia firmly believes that instilling good values and discipline is the key in giving a good education for her children. Nadia considers her children to be a blessing and beautiful miracles, but the multiple pregnancies left her body wrecked. It turns out that she has four herniated discs in her lumbar spine, which has resulted in bilateral sciatica. Another unexpected side effect of her pregnancies was her peripheral neuropathy, which prevents her from feeling areas of her right foot, including her toes. Whenever she experiences pain from her condition, Nadia uses her resting time to write in bed. For over a decade, she has been working on a book that details the horrors of raising kids in the spotlight. In one of the chapters, she recalls the pain of waking up to hundreds of reporters and news helicopters circling above the hospital after the birth of my octuplets. Even though she values her privacy, she also likes to share her favorite workouts and vegan recipes on social media with her followers. On June 15, 2020, she decided to update her followers on what her kids look like to shut the rumors about her being a bad mother. Malia Angel Suleiman is one of the octuplets. She's currently 12 years old as of 2021. This photo was posted in 2020 by Suleiman in the caption she wrote, My little baby is growing up too fast. Clearly, Malia is a beautiful and healthy kid. 12-year-old Jonas Suleiman also shared a womb with his sister Malia, and he's all about healthy food just like his mom. Not only is he surrounded by fruits and vegetables on the kitchen counter, but he's holding a huge charred leaf that's about the size of his torso. In this photo posted on February 21, 2021, Nadia described Naria as being the main chef in the family. She even shared videos and photos of her little girl making healthy delicious meals like this delicious homemade vegan fettuccine. Each and every one of her children has their special gift, and Noah's gift is music. In this photo, Nadia's followers got to see him posing with his violin in his beginning strings performance. In this festive holiday photo, Ely had one arm wrapped around his sister Amara's shoulder while they allowed their dear old mother to snap this precious moment. He's wearing a naughty beanie hat while his sister is wearing a hat that reads nice. Can they get any cuter? This photo was taken in December 2020 after Amira graduated from high school. Nadia's daughter wants to pursue a medical career, which makes her mother extremely proud. Words cannot express how proud I am of you. Amara's mom wrote, Your strength and relentless perseverance are admirable and I have faith you will accomplish your goal of one day becoming a doctor. This is just the beginning of the beautiful life you choose to attain. Thank you, God, for protecting my heart from day one. Nadia posted this photo with Aiden on the left sitting with his legs crossed on the ground, while his brother Makai sits next to him with a big smile on his face. Everywhere Aiden goes Makai follows, she wrote.
Joe Sire is the one in the red flannel shirt in the middle while Jeremiah is the one in the black shirt on the far right. Nadia snapped this photo during a choir event at Christmas time. Suleiman captioned the photo, Makai, Naria, Malia, Josiah, Jonah, and Jeremiah, you were so fun to watch in choir. Issinga Suleiman is the one on the far left in the photo and was clearly shocked to have been named the winner of the 5K in his age group. Unfortunately, he learned once again that he had to share the glory with his siblings. The other two handsome fellows next to him are his brothers Josiah and No. So this is what happens when I ask my teenage son to take a picture of my twins for their 13th birthday dinner. The kid holding the camera was obviously poking fun at his siblings. The Suleiman kids all know their way around the kitchen very well. For their mother's birthday, Kalisa decided to make something special for her mom. Kalisa is the one in the middle wearing the red apron that says Taste of Spain. She's standing next to her little helpers, aka her sisters. My kids left me speechless after spontaneously surprising me with homemade vegan fruit pancakes for breakfast. Nadia captioned the post. Nadia wanted to assure her followers that she and the kids still had plenty of fun outdoors. To that end, she posted a video on April 11, 2021, that showed her and her kids out in an open field playing soccer under the sun. As a mom, she knows how important it is to keep her kids healthily active and entertained. In this photo, Nadia was seen taking her daughters out for some quality time, which isn't something that was easy to do with so many kids, most of which are still children. But Nadia believes it's important to cherish these moments and make the time for them, even if everyone's really busy. In the photos, she wrote, girls night out, then girls night in. She followed it with the hashtags hash staying in is so much more fun hash, especially with cats. A solid bond between a mother and a child or any parent and child is vital for a healthy relationship with them as they become teenagers. In this Instagram photo posted in July 2021, Nadia gushed about her kids Ely and Amara and how little they were when this picture was taken in 2002. Throwing it back to nearly 20 years ago, she captioned, Back when she first became a mom, Suleiman wanted to savor every moment of her kid's childhood. In this photo, she's enjoying a beautiful sunset at the beach while watching one of her children doing what he loves the most, surfing. Chilly summer nights in Laguna Beach watching Illy surf, she wrote in the caption. Swimming is one of the best ways to spend a chilly afternoon and Suleiman knows it. In this photo she posted on her social media, she claimed to have swimming as the favorite hobby of her children. Even though most of her kids rather enjoy taking a dip in the pool, Nadia noticed that some of them would rather be doing something else. Some kids choose daytime or nighttime swimming fun, and others prefer studying anatomy and physiology, she explained. So some of her kids like to bring their books for a quick studying session in the sun. Nadia loves all of her kids equally, but in this throwback photo she posted on August 6, 2021, she wanted to put the spotlight on her daughter Amara. She captioned the adorable pic, beautiful princess Amara and me, literally a month after having JJ, not pictured. Three of Nadia's girls are pictured here standing on a pedestal surrounded by pillars at a botanical garden. Grateful for nature and our simple, humble life, she captioned when she posted this photo on August 9, 2021. On August 20, 2021, Nadia's son Joshua turned 18, the Optimum shared this throwback picture of him and his brother Aiden from way back in 2007. She captioned the picture, Happy 18th birthday to my second oldest son Joshua. You have grown into a highly intelligent, self-motivated, hardworking, responsible and respectful young man. She added, You are a rare and unique individual with the most sardonic sense of humor of anyone I've ever known. I love you more than words can express. You are loved and appreciated by us all. I respect your choice to remain private and always will." Nadia took this photo of three of her kids after attending church services. In the caption, she wrote, It is always appropriate to love. It is never appropriate to judge. Give the same amount of grace to others you would want given to you. After spending so many sleepless nights struggling to raise 14 kids all by herself, she can finally enjoy a little bit of balance now that they're old and mature. Meal planning, bath time, story time, dishes, laundry, 
cooking, groceries, housework, and managing the finances. Even though Nadia has promised to share more about her personal life with her followers, she knows she needs to stay private so that her kids will continue to live far away from the press.